Hello teachers, welcome to the short video on how to log into Schoology and a basic overview of feature differences between accessing Schoology through Schoology's Android app, that's an app that I got from the Play Store, and accessing Schoology through Google Chrome. Now, when we download the app and sign in for the first time, you're going to have two options. And I absolutely must insist that uh, my colleagues at Spartanburg District 7 use the top login method whereby you search for our district and select Spartanburg School District 7 so that you can use our Office 365 login. So when I choose District 7, I'm bounced over to a Microsoft page where I'm going to use my spart7.org email and my password to log in to Schoology. So after entering my spart7.org email and tapping the sign in, I get to my home page. Now, one thing to watch out for is that your home page is going to be your home screen with all of the updates of messages from different groups that you're a member of or different courses. To see your courses, you're going to want to tap in the three lines in the top left. Now, our active panels do cut off the edge of that screen, so it is hard to see that. I wanted to point that out first. But notice that these are the tabs that typically are along the top of any other web browser. So if I want to go to one of my courses, I can quickly switch to that. When you get to certain parts of the app, you'll get a short tutorial. You can tap through those. But I wanted to give you an overview of a course in the app. Now, this is mostly designed for students to keep on top of their work on their iPads or on their iPhones. So you'll notice that when you go to add items, you don't have a lot of options. You also don't have a lot of options for organizing or editing existing content. To do that kind of work, uh, say to add an attachment to an assignment that you forgot and you want to do that on your panel in the moment, I suggest going back to your home screen and signing into Schoology via Chrome. So opening up the Chrome browser and using that Spart7 dot schoology dot com uh, address will let you sign in to our district portal and from there notice I'm in that same course I now have the option to add my materials and if I were in a course that had content already I could go in and use the gear next to my materials to make edits and changes things like unpublishing and publishing are all controlled in a web browser so be sure that you know that uh, ahead of time. This is also the most similar to what students are going to see when they're on their Macs. So as far as training students how to use Schoology and navigate your course structure, you're going to want to demonstrate that mostly in Chrome. Be on the lookout for other videos where we will show you how to speed things up as far as transferring files between OneDrive and Schoology. Uh, thanks for watching this video and tune in for others later on using your Promethean Active Panels.